what is up youtubers it is brush part productions here and today i got a lot of news for you guys and you guys probably already know by now because i gave it to another mortal kombat news source but it was from me it was all from me it originated from me and it came from me but what i did i got to interview this guy right here the executive producer of mortal kombat x sean hemmerich he was there at the mortal kombat x booth and i was in line to play mortal kombat x and i was like holy crap do I, is that who i think it is and I was kind of like overly hyped. I interviewed him twice. The first time I asked two questions and the third question he had to go because he had to go for another interview. It was probably the Game Informer interview that uh, that it's online right now. But I think my interview was like kind of like the most valuable one because I got little really good little kind of like nuggets of information about Mortal Kombat X. And you guys again you guys probably already know about it because I gave it to another Mortal Kombat X news source which is, which is the Combat Tether and I'll give their link to the their website in the description below. But what I managed to get out of the interview that I had with Sean Hemmerich I managed to get this information and there's like a lot of more information so I'll just read it off, read off what I got. The next big announcement for a character or anything about Mortal Kombat X and new story details will come in January and February. Now this makes me really happy and at the same time it doesn't really make me happy because I have to wait, we have to wait another month because it's he said that we will learn a lot more about the game in January and February. But at the same time it's good for me, two reasons is because January is the month of my birthday, January 7th is my birthday and it will be the perfect time and now I know when we're gonna get a new announcement or anything about the game and so do you guys there will be no day or night version of the stages in Mortal Kombat X but some stages will have featured a dynamic weather system that will change as the match progresses now this is really interesting because I didn't really know what he meant when he says a dynamic weather system I thought he meant like how we got day and night versions of the stages in Mortal Kombat 9 where we kind of had like a separate stage as a night version like the pit night version the pit day version and the pit dawn version I thought he meant it like that like say the cove uh, winter version the cove spring version the cove summer version I don't know but he said like a system so I don't know what he means by it so I'm really interested to in, in, interested interested to see what this is and in the interview I asked him if the character select screen is final I know it's not final but I just wanted to see his points of views on it when people ask him that question and he answered the character select screen is not final the final roster c count the final roster count depends on how much they can jam in before the release so they're basically he's basically saying they're doing as much as they can to get their work done to add as much characters as possible we can even have 40 characters if they get that that number of characters done in time I don't think we're gonna get 40 characters I think we're gonna get around 30 we can even have more so th there's not really a limit to how many characters they can get done so that is really good we can get, again we can possibly get 40 characters but I don't think that's gonna happen also Sean placed further emphasis on Quan Chi's resurrection abilities in the past and stated again that MKX will have revenants from those who fell in MK9 so we're gonna have those people who died in MK9 we're gonna see his revenants they're so they're gonna be on his side that's what Sean said another little cool fact about Immortal Kombat X that I found out that every stage will have an interaction so every every stage will have some sort of inter interaction in the stage Another cool thing that I found out that Sean told me in my interview is that the game will be submitted next month for a final stage of development. So they're going to start submitting the game. So he said that they're trying to get the discs and stuff like that. So they're in their last stage of development in uh, January. So I'm guessing February is when they start publishing the game. And then in two months, we get in two months later, we get the game, which is April. This makes me really happy because that means that they are almost they are nearly complete with the game, which also brings me to my attention, or which also brings me to another thing that Sean told me in my interview is that a lot of other characters, a lot of new characters, and a lot of returning characters are finished back at NetherRealm Studios. When I asked him about unlockable characters like the Quan Chi deal, when you had to beat the story to unlock Quan Chi, he could not answer that question. So it kind of got me a little suspicious there. I do believe that we're going to get unlockable characters though, that is just my my opinion. There will be no Bay Battle Ladies in the game, he did confirm Bay Battle Ladies for Mortal Kombat X, he, it is not going to be the new this new finisher as they do not fit in this game, that's what he said, it, it doesn't really fit the game. 
I also asked him if it's going to be a dark, greedier term. He did say it's going to be a very dark and greedy tone, and it's going to be more cinematic than it was in MK9. So it's going to be more, and he also said it's going to be more, more movie. So it's kind of we're going to have like a more of a deeper kind of movie feel into this Mortal Kombat X game. Also, it is very probable that we will we will be getting fatalities in the story mode. So again, Sean did tell me that this is going to be more cinematic than MK9 was, so it'll be a very cinematic death, more brutal death. So if this was to be true, it'll be awesome. There will be some sort of King of the Hill mode. It's going to be more of an enhanced version of King of the Hill. So there's going to be a lot of new features in the King of the Hill mode, or if it's going to be even called King of the Hill, because he said he doesn't know if they're going to call it King of the Hill. It's going to be more of an enhanced version of King of the Hill. That is that is what he stated. And there's going to be a lot of all new online features in the game. Not just one. Well, maybe just one, but there's just going to be a lot of new features uh, for the online in MKX. Also, the biggest thing, in my opinion, that I got out of this interview, and I asked him if we were, if we will be getting a Goro reveal trailer, and he said at some point we will be getting a Goro reveal trailer, and that got me really hyped up. I didn't like go on his face because then it make me act look, made me look stupid, but I was so hyped because I'm really hyped right now to see what they can do with Goro. I think they're gonna do a really good job with them. And I'm very interest, interested to see how he works and how the gameplay works and his variations. So I think they're going to do a really good job with Goro. So that's all I got for you guys from the PlayStation experience and my interview with Sean Hemrick. And it was such a great opportunity to meet and interview him at the PlayStation experience. So I thank him so much a million times and I thank him, thank him for his time for actually answering my questions and actually caring. So that's all I got for you guys. But if you guys are finding me for the first time, I do a lot of Mortal Kombat X topics, theories, anything Mortal Kombat related, I will it will be it is on my channel and I will leave the link to my Mortal Kombat X playlist or my Mortal Kombat, you know, my mainly Mortal Kombat content. So anyways, if you guys I will be doing another another video about my hands-on impression for Mortal Kombat X at the PlayStation experience. And I got to say that movie, that movie that game is awesome. It looks beautiful. I'm not going to get too much into detail because it's a separate video. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this interview. My name is Bruce Pub Productions, and I'm out for now.